guys, my name's Eli. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the PEN 555 Graphite Series. We're going to go ahead and make a video on it. We're going to check and see if this is what you're looking for. Let's open it up and see what this is all about. Let's give it a few turns first. Put it in gear. Let's go ahead and watch it spin freely. It has a decent amount of spin to it. Let's put the clicker on, see how that sounds. It's not that loud. Uh, I've, I've uh, known the Pen Jigmaster to be a little louder than this. This is the, the knob for the spool tensioner, right here. Uh, basically it's all graphite, side plates, the main frame. Uh, let's, let's talk its line capacity. 20 pounds of mono will give you 600 yards. So it's a, it's a fairly decent size reel. I would go ahead and compare its size to perhaps the Jigmaster, it's it's close to it, if not the same. Uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, discuss how smooth it is. It's got four ball bearings and that makes it pretty pre pretty smooth. Uh, this one's well lubed, so uh, there's there's no roughness to it when, when I get it to spin. It's got its standard rod clamp. It's a graphite rod clamp. It weighs 22 ounces. Now this was produced in the late 80s and discontinued in 2003. Let's open it up. Let's check it out. I'm going to start off by removing the screw. That's going to expose the nut in order for me to remove the handle. Now, as you can see, the handle's not the greatest on this, but it's okay. I mean, considering its age, right? There you go. It's got a nut there. Give me a second while I reach for a wrench. Thought I had that ready. I'm gonna go ahead and use these needle nose pliers for it. There you go. As far as drag is concerned, there's no website from Penn that's going to tell you what the drag capacity is for this reel. But from using it and testing it, I would go ahead and say it's safe to say that it'll give you a good 14 pounds, which is better than the Jigmaster. The reason why I keep bringing up the Jigmaster is because I feel that they're same size reel and they're both casting reels. Uh, I did forget to mention the uh, the uh, speed 5.3 to 1 makes it a fast reel. Now let me go ahead and remove these screws here. There's one It's really easy to take apart. That's what I like about the reel also. You can clean it up, lube it up after every use if you'd like, depending on what you've been doing with it. I also want to let you know that on the left side where the clicker's at, there's like a, a brake system. It's got two little magnets that you can either pull apart to slow down the, the spool as you're getting ready to to do a nice big long cast or you can uh, retract the magnets and get it to spin a lot faster now of course if you're not familiar with casting I'd recommend you you put the brake on it'll slow the spool down and avoid a lot of birds nests and birds nests can be a, a, a pain in the butt if you know what I mean 
So there's four screws there on the side plate and then there's two little ones right here. I know it's hard to see. Uh, I've said it in my last video. I, I don't have a camera guy so I I can't really zoom in on things but I'm doing my best. Okay, here we go. I'm going to remove the top. And there are the gears. That's a, a very good size gear there. That's, in my opinion, beefier than the Jigmaster. Uh, this is a top bearing. That helps the, uh, the, the turning handle or the handle rotate or spin nice and smooth. Here's like a little washer there. Now let's go ahead and pull the main gear out. There you go. Here's the main gear. I have pretty big hands so if, if you can imagine it's a good a good size main gear. The main gear is made out of bronze the pinion is stainless steel. There's one washer, one HT100, uh, an eared washer, HT100, a washer, and an HT100. So that's five, that's three HT100s. Now usually it's about five pounds of drag for every HT100 washer but you know so then three three times five would be 15 and I said 13 pounds of drag which is what I would stick with you know I I mean I don't believe that they're each gonna give you five good strong pounds without compromising the rest of the reel so 13 pounds should be fine and again, here's the main gear. It's, it's, it's got a nice size, like I said. I would say better than the Jigmaster. And as you can see, the bridge and the sleeve, it's sitting right in there. It's sitting on another bearing that helps keep the turning smooth. Here's the dog. It's, it's a good sized dog. I've seen cheap ones by pen. This is decent. And of course these are the springs. So that's fairly easy. Let's go ahead and reassemble. It's not going in smooth for some reason. You have to sometimes you have to play with it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bottom piece and put that in first. There you go. Let's put the main gear on. There that goes. And let's put the HT100 back. The HT100 um, drags are, are bigger than the uh, Pen Jig Master. Not by a lot, but they are. Keep that in mind. Put this back. There isn't really much to it, which is why I like it. It's easy to take apart, spray some WD-40 on it, clean it well, use a little toothbrush if there's any sand to, to brush it off, and then apply some nice grease on it. That keeps reels nice and, nice and clean, in good working order. So let's go ahead and put the cap back on.
let's get the little screws on first which are the ones that go here at the bottom now in case you're wondering why the clicker isn't the greatest on the pen 555 uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up the, the side of the clicker and see what causes it not to sound off as loud as we'd like it to sound off assuming you like it loud right I've got four more screws to put on one Two, three, and four should be the last screw. It's not that easy to find parts for the 555 on eBay. So take care of the reel. And if you ever see parts, grab them just to have backups. Okay, there's that. Let's go ahead and put the, the star back on. There's nothing under the star. No washers or anything you need to look out for. Remember, it's going to sit inside of the bearing. And that's what helps everything rotate smoother. It's easy to put back on. This is the, the tension washer. We're going to go ahead and put the handle back on. It's not a big deal. Put the screw back on. There you go. And you'll just have to put the cap back on once you're ready to assemble. I might as well do it now. And there it is. Let's take this, the other side plate off. I want to let you know that the spool is made out of aluminum. It's lightweight. Now, if you were to move up and want something a little better than the Jigmaster and the uh, Pen 55 5GS. I would recommend the new reel that just came out not that long ago, the Pen Fathom. Just because it's all aluminum, it's got 25 pounds of drag, it's got a nice beefy handle, and it just looks nice. It's got a retrieve of about 6 to 1. If I'm not mistaking, most of the time what we want to do when we have reels is upgrade little knickknacks on them. And at the end it just costs a lot more. And when we try and sell it to get ourselves a new reel, nobody's willing to pay us what we invested into it. I know for example the Pen Jigmaster, you can buy the uh, Tibroom frame for it. You can put the Accu plates on the side. You can put stainless steel gears, yoke, uh, a stainless steel bridge. You can buy an Accu uh, handle. And like I said, at, at the end, and I've said it before in my other video, at the end, it's still a Jigmaster. No matter what you do to it, the reel's still going to be, 
as weak as its weakest point. And that reel is not designed for heavy weight and heavy drag, no matter what you do to it. So it's, it's best to just upgrade, you know, and save some money and, and go from there. But back to the uh, GS here. This is where the clicker goes. I don't know if you can see that well. I'll take some pictures at the end. And now I understand why the clicker is not as loud as we would like it to be. Where on the pen jig master, this star that makes the clicking noise is metal. This is plastic. And so is this. This little pin that makes the clicking noise, that's plastic. So there's no way it's going to be nice, sharp, loud like the pen jig master. It's, 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 it's a faint clicking sound. Uh, here are the uh, magnets, one on each side. If you pull them, it slows the, the spool down. And if you retract them, it gets the spool to spin a little faster. Let's go ahead and put this back together. Oh, here's, uh, here's the other bearing. That bearing was a pain in the behind to find. So, like I said, if you ever see parts and they're at a good deal, just get them as backups. And that's where the spool will come to rest. Really easy. See, that's what I like about this reel. It's just easy. Easy to clean. Not to mention that it's graphite, you know, and again, we're going to compare the Jig Master. The Jig Master is not graphite. It's got plastic side plates. And they're more likely to pop versus a graphite. Not to say that graphite's the greatest, but it's definitely better than the plastic side plates. Keep that in mind. Of course, if you can afford a little better, then I would go with, like I said, with the Pen Phantom. Just because it's all aluminum and it'll withstand a lot more pressure than this. But again, this is a good reel. You know, if you just want to surf fish, things like that, this would be the reel to go for versus the Jig Master. Again, that's just my opinion from using both. And there you go. The reel's been put back together. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this is going to help you make a choice. Uh, I've seen videos on YouTube where you know you're interested in buying a reel and you click on the link and you expect to see some good information and all they do is hold it and turn it and and, and they put the clicker on that's not gonna help anyone make a right choice again this is the pin 555 graphite series reel I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it useful and if you did click the like thank you and see you next time